Hi! Welcome to Ready for Kindergarten. My name is Miss Tammy. I am a librarian for the County Library at the Whitmore Branch, and I am so glad you're here today. So today we have a fun story. It is called, Whose Track Is That? Ooh, whose track? Uh, in this case, track is like a footprint. Whose footprint is this? Let's find out. It's a photographer. That's whose this footprint is. Look at that one. I love taking pictures of animals, but it's not always easy. Sometimes I can't find the animals. When this happens, I only get pictures of their tracks. And this is the photographer. Shall we go see what he finds? We'll look at these tracks. Hmm. This animal's track is long and skinny and might loop or curl about. Sometimes it's a straight line. Whose track is that? Want a hint? It says you might see a robin pull one from your lawn. It's an earthworm! Look, here's the worm. It's a worm. Earthworms usually live underground, but they often come out when it rains. Yeah, I bet you've seen some before on a rainy day. All right, look at this footprint. Ooh. Pointed on one end and rounded on the other, this track is heart-shaped. This animal's hoofs are extra hard and make deep tracks in the mud. Mm. Whose track do you think it is? Oh. It's a deer! Yeah, it's a white-tailed deer. It's the most common large animal in America, where we live. Ooh, look at this track in the snow. Hmm, interesting. Small and round, my tracks are not easy to spot. My claws don't stick out, so my tracks don't leave claw marks in the mud or snow. Whose track is this? Hmm, do you want a hint? This animal looks like a large house cat. Hmm. It's a bobcat. It does look kind of like a house cat, doesn't it? Huh. Bobcats are small cats not much larger than a house cat. When a bobcat walks, its back feet step directly into the tracks of its front, front feet, making it look like it only leaves a single line of tracks. That is very interesting. All right, look at this one. <gasps> what do you think about this track? Hmm. This animal's front paws look like a person's hand with five fingers. It sometimes even dunks its food in water. Whose track is that? Do you know? Mm. A raccoon! The raccoon. The northern raccoon is also called the common raccoon. It has a cute black mask around its eyes that make it look like a bank robber in a cartoon. <laughs> a raccoon. All right. Ooh. <gasps> I bet some of you can guess this one. Hmm. This animal's feet are good for walking and even better for swimming. Its toes are connected by webbing. Whose track is that? Do you know? Hmm. It's a Canadian goose. It's a goose. I thought it might be a duck, but that's close, right? <laughs> oh, look at this track. Hmm, interesting. This animal has large round feet with long sharp claws. Its tracks are bigger than your hand. Hmm. Whose track is that? Hmm. You want a hint? <gasps> this animal loves to eat honey, berries, and bugs. <gasps> Who is it? Oh, it's a bear. The American black bear. All right, let's find another track. Oh, this one's a little bit hard to see. Hmm. Interesting. These tracks are small and oval, and they often show this animal's nails. You might see these tracks in your yard, at a park, or at the beach. Hmm. 
whose track is this? Here's the hint. This animal might live in your house. It's a dog! Dun, dun, dun. A dog track. Do any of you have dogs? All right, look at these tracks. And is this one up here? Hmm. This animal's front paw track is tiny compared to its huge back foot. Its large flat tail leaves a track too. Ooh. Do you know an animal that has a really long flat tail? Oh, that's a very interesting animal. Are you ready? It's a beaver. I don't think I have ever seen a beaver in real life. Have you? American North American beaver. Oh, look at these tracks. Does anyone know what this one is? I bet some of you do. You can see this animal animal's tracks when it migrates back home. Its tracks are tiny and thin, which can make them hard to see. Yep, definitely hard to see. What is it? It's a robin! Yay! A robin! When an American robin runs across your lawn and turns its head, it's not listening for worms, it's looking for them. Its eyes are located on the side of its head. Our eyes are in the front, but the robin's eyes are on the side. Interesting. Ooh, all right, what about that trail? Hmm. When this animal runs, it's more like hopping with its feet side by side. Sometimes just for fun, it slides on its belly instead of running. Ooh, look, so I see kind of like a hopping and then a sliding on its belly. What do you think it is? An otter. It's an otter. That's really cool, a river otter. All right, what about these tracks? Hmm, kind of like long fingers, huh? Interesting. This animal's back feet are huge, helping it jump very far. If it sits on a lily pad, you can't see its tracks at all. What animal sits on a lily pad? A bullfrog! Whoa. This American bullfrog is the largest frog in North America. It can be bigger than a dinner plate. Whoa, that is big. And then these are all of the different tracks that we just read about. Whose track is that? 